Hey everyone, it's Natalie from Natalia Style and today I am so excited to share with you my H&M Fort Moschino haul. So I was lucky enough again to be able to attend the media preview in Toronto. So it gives people in the media, bloggers, influencers, um, people on TV as well, a chance to shop the uh, collection before it drops. I know last year some people didn't like that I was able to get a lot of pieces, but I do still wear those pieces very often and I love these designer collections because it's a nice way to be able to access a designer for a lot less and also bring it to the entire public. So I was so excited to be able to attend this event. It was super fun. They had a live DJ, they had drinks, they had food, and it was just always like a fun environment. I always make friends with people in line. It's always so much fun. So I always look forward to these collections because I think it's really fun and you kind of get caught up in the frenzy. So I'm just gonna get right into it and share with you my H&M for Moschino haul. So first up we have the bags. They are super cute. They kind of remind me of the Moschino for Sephora collection last year. I got the little shopping bag eyeshadow palette. It was kind of like that, very simple graphic black and white. Um, so inside I just got some accessories. So I'm gonna go right into that. Now I was in the second wave of purchasing items. So I wasn't in the first group at six o'clock. I got a wristband for the second group, which was still pretty lucky. Um, so if you know on opening day, you have to get there really early to make sure you get the earlier wristband so you have the most selection. So if you're in the first or second or maybe even the third wave, I find that you can get a lot of the pieces you like and honestly, I got everything I wanted. So the first thing I have here is this cute little peace sign um, change purse. It is leather. There's also some polyurethane on it and I think the price on this is amazing. Um, it was $39.99 Canadian, so that's great. I assume in the States it might be around $29.99. I'm not sure. This is super cute. It actually has a clip. So I'm thinking of using this inside some of my bags that have little D-rings inside, so you can kind of clip it on. I think this would be perfect for um, like your headphones, maybe like a bus pass or like just something you need easy access to. I think this is a really cute piece. It says Moschino here. It doesn't say H&M for Moschino in case you're looking for that. But it's a really nice feeling. It has leather. It feels pretty, pretty nice, I think. Um, it's just really cute. It has a nice zipper. Zips halfway so everything isn't going to fall out. So I really like this piece. I think it's a really good buy for only $40. The next little accessory I got are these really cute pins. There's just four pins here, like a ball cap, a peace sign, the Moschino shopping bag, and of course the famous jacket bag. So one word about the jacket bag, that was the piece I really, really wanted. So in the first wave, there were about six of those mini bags and they were all gone. So obviously I didn't get to get one, but seeing them in person, honestly, I don't know, it wasn't totally for me. They were super tiny. That was about honestly this big, like you could not fit your cell phone in it. So maybe you could fit a little wallet and a lipstick in your keys if you're lucky. Um, but any bag has to be able to fit my phone. I have an iPhone 7, it did not fit in that, so I don't feel like I missed out. But I got these cute little pins. They were $19.99, so that's a pretty good buy. Like, this is a nice way, you know, in case you don't end up getting something from the collection, this is a cute little collectible. Looks really cute on this card. It's nice for gift giving. You can kind of split them up as well. So yeah, super cute. I could see myself wearing this on like a jean jacket, kind of like jazzing something up. The next accessory I got came in this beautiful, black and white box and they are these gold plated earrings they are super beautiful they're really heavyweight i will say one thing they're extremely heavy when you wear them but they are really cute they look really grand like really bold bold gold and in charge i would say i actually got these for my friend chloe as well um so these were 59.99 so that's a pretty good deal they're really hefty though so I'm kind of on the fence about these. I might end up giving them to my sister or my mom because I'm having trouble with my earrings, but they're very cute and very well branded. I think this is a good kind of gateway product into the brand because they're super wearable. So the next accessory I got, and I'm so happy I was able to get one of these. This was like the item I had my eyes on and I wasn't gonna go to the preview because I wasn't sure about the clothing, but I was all about the accessories. So I was able to get this adorable, dog collar. So this dog collar was $129 and it is leather. It's very heavyweight. And I actually realized this is such a good buy. And I know it sounds crazy to think, okay, $129 on a dog collar. However, if you take this part off, you can actually attach this to a kid size or a super small size belt 
and you can actually turn this dog collar into a belt for you. So we all know this iconic Moschino letter belt. Those are super hot. You know, the Kardashians kind of brought them back in style. I totally credit the Kardashians for the Moschino Renaissance. It's totally all about them and Jeremy Scott. But honestly, like this belt is something I've always wanted. And I kind of bought this dog collar kind of like out of impulse. I thought, okay, you know what? I'll bring it home. At worst, I will return it to the store or give it to a friend who has their own dog that they love. Because it's, it's a little bit too chunky for my little dog. She's a Pomapoo and she's, you know, about 14 pounds, but it still is very hefty and probably too heavy for her because she's 18 years old. But I showed it to my mother and she's like, hold on a second. And she's like, just put it around your waist. And honestly, it looks so cute. So you kind of just like undo it like this. I'll take it out to show you guys. And I'm actually so excited. I'm like, I want to go tonight to find a belt just so I can wear it. So it goes like this and you can put it right on your waist and honestly I tried it with a bigger belt and obviously I couldn't do it so you would just attach the end here and the buckle part here so I just have to find a black and gold matching belt. I might even have one made like I might contact an Etsy person and just kind of make this happen because I think for $129 this is a super deal. I'm super excited about this so you get the leather belt which is really nice it's really long I saw it in store. Um, but I'm mainly excited about this because this can actually fit around your neck too in case you're wondering you can wear this as a choker But I'm super excited to wear this as a belt and I think for that reason this is actually a really great piece Okay, so the next accessory I picked up is something that I also really wanted and in the first wave I saw all of these go it is the Moschino gold belt this is another iconic piece and before I figured out that you could wear the dog collar as a belt if you kind of you know, do your own DIY thing. I saw this and I really wanted it. It is actually gold plated according to the website and it's incredibly heavy. It's like very hefty. Um, I honestly feel like a pirate wearing this. It's super fun. So over here, it attaches with like a classic kind of toggle clip here. You can wear it around your waist, you can wear it around your hips. I kind of like it in between. It's just super 80s, very classic Moschino. I'm holding it backwards, I just realized. Looks like that. This piece is extremely heavy and really beautiful. The gold is just super bright. Um, definitely, I think the price is a little bit on the high side for this. It's 179 Canadian. Um, hopefully in the US it'll be a little bit lower, but it's definitely high quality. Considering this is gold plated, you're getting a lot for your money. But yeah, here's the belt. I think this is a great piece. If you're looking for a Moschino belt, definitely try to get this. I think it's a good deal considering if you would buy one at the store, it'd be close to like 500, 600. So this piece is really beautiful and definitely a big statement. The next and last accessory I got is this cute little bear cell phone case. So this was actually a gift if you attended the media event. These were gifted out, which was very sweet, but it is for sale as well. You can get it for $59.99. The only issue I have with it is that the um, cell phone case, the camera part is covered by the bear's head. So it's not totally practical, especially if you're like me and you love to take photos. If you prefer to take selfies, I think this case would definitely work for you. And it's super cute. I mean, come on. It's a little t-shirt that says HN Moschino. Very cute. So the last piece I got um, is one piece of clothing. So it comes with these beautiful velvet hangers, which obviously you want to keep because they're super beautiful. I wasn't super impressed with the clothes. Unfortunately, there was a leather jacket that I just loved, but it was so cropped. It just came up like right past your breasts and it was just really awkward. If it was just a little bit longer, I like a crop jacket. It was just too short and it was a little bit too pricey for what it was. Um, the t-shirts, I, I like Disney, so I didn't mind them. I mean, if you're a Disney person, I think it's cute. The issue I had with them though, is that the screen print quality was super bad. It's, I mean, it's such a shame because I thought the designs were kind of fun and very 80s, very Moschino but the screen printing I just couldn't do. I feel like you would wash it once and it would completely crack or get ruined, so I did not risk it. The t-shirts were about $49.99 in Canada. There was a really cute sweatshirt, but again, you know, the screen print just wasn't good quality, so I had to skip it. The sweatshirt was $79.99 in Canada, so that just might help you figure out your shopping, but I will warn if you're buying online, um, when you get your item, the screen print quality just wasn't up to par with the accessories in this collection I thought were excellent. The one piece of clothing I have here is this gorgeous leather dress. Now, I can't believe I bought this. This is just totally, it's not totally my style, but I totally fell in love. It fits like a glove. It's just so beautiful. 
It's all leather. The leather is super soft lambskin. It's just a beautiful piece. Um, I also really like the gold hardware. My leather jacket has silver hardware, so this is kind of fun to have a little bit of a contrast. It's super beautiful. Um, the back has a lot of nice detailing as well. We have some gold buckles down here, which you can adjust. I'm thinking of putting it on a longer setting so that you can sit down in it a little bit easier because it is bodycon. I think I do need to stretch this dress out a bit. Um, for size reference, I got a size 38. Um, so that would be like a size six. So it's pretty much true to size. Um, I find it fits perfectly in my waist and my hips. I definitely say my hips are a size six. So this collection does run true to size. I did find in t-shirts I was small or extra small, which is just on par like how I would normally shop. If you're looking to purchase a dress or a jacket, definitely buy true to size. Don't size up, just get the size that you normally are. Um, I know if anything fitted, I like to go with a size six instead of a size four. I also tried on this dress in a size 8 and it was just a little bit too big in the bust and the straps were falling off so I went to size down and after wearing it for the shoot I did earlier today I can definitely tell that this dress will stretch out just a tiny bit so I think it'll really form to your body. There's tons of beautiful details, there's gold hardware everywhere, it's a beautiful leather, it smells nice. There's also really nice stitching happening here, there's these vertical stitching here around the bust line. The piping is just beautiful. Honestly, this fits like a glove and if you go to the store and you try this on and it fits you, I would definitely suggest getting it. It is on the pricier side though. Um, this one was $3.49 in Canada, so yes, it's very pricey. However, it is completely leather. So I mean, I spent $2.99 on a leather jacket from Zara and it's not a designer and it's not a dress. There's so much design work in this. So I totally think it's worth it. And I think it's a really fun piece that I know I will have for years to come. Thank you so much for tuning in to my H&M for Moschino shopping haul. I really like making these hauls because I like giving you a preview of the collection just to give you an idea of what's worth purchasing as well as sizing and my thoughts on the collection. Definitely focus on accessories for this one. I think if you can purchase one of the belts or the dog collar, I think it's totally worth it. I think there's a lot of stuff for everyone. There's some really cute socks. The men's collection is actually really nice. I really like that side and they had some really fun accessories like socks, boxers. I think stuff like that is really fun to incorporate into your wardrobe. Kind of add a little bit of flavor and also some designer pieces as well. Thank you so much for tuning in to my H&M for Moschino shopping haul. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment box below. I will be linking all of these items so that you can shop the collection when it drops on November 8th. If you want to learn more, you can also check out my website at nataliastyleblog.com and you can always subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.